screw in nicely. Well, welcome back everybody. We're going to go ahead and harvest these mushrooms. They're saying that we have a possibility of frost here tonight and I don't want these guys to get damaged. I'm going to try something different this year. I'm going to walk over here to the creek, grab a bowl of water, and as we harvest the mushrooms, I'm going to go ahead and let them start soaking in the water and see how many spores that I can get to wash off here and then dump the water right back out on the ground that these mushrooms are already growing at. It should help for a better harvest next year. Uh, we have had a, quite a bit of rain the past couple of days, so I'm sure that's washing into the soil as well. But I'm going to attempt to get as much out of these as I can. And I know they like growing here because we have them here most, most every year. So let's get started. We're going to walk over the creek and grab us some water and come back and start harvesting these mushrooms before they get frostbitten. This is uh, seven days that we've allowed these to grow. And I got to say, they've tripled in size. So this was an experiment that paid off. It's most certainly cooled down this evening. We were uh, 80 degrees about three days ago. Now we've had quite a bit of rain over the past three days. And uh, we're down into the upper 50s today. And again, as I said, we're dropping down the low 30s tonight. Now I don't know how much this is going to actually help, but these little guys are so timid and so hard to find that any advantage that we can have for next year, I think is worth it. So we will find out in next year's video how this works. That should be more than enough. Now having this 100% natural from their surroundings, this may work pretty good. great place to start. These scissors really do work well for these guys. Turned out to be a nice size one. Go ahead and drop him in the water. Yeah, they're starting to feel a little dry. these sticks up here so that way I know where these stalks are at and if they grow back I will bring you back and show you that on camera All right. now, leaving these stalks helps to identify as to where these things are growing and you can see they're hollow inside so they do get a lot of bugs up and around the plant Washing these and rinsing thoroughly in this water, and then dropping this water right back out here on the ground may help for a few more next year. They do call them spores, and that's how they reseed themselves. We got another one right over here beside us. Now, and I completely understand if you're on a long road trip to find these guys you may not have the time to allow them the extra seven days to grow but we did find these as soon as they come up out of the ground so it's actually been a really neat process to watch these things grow and triple in size let's grab this guy over here well oh, that's a nice size one too see that real well. I mean that was that one's hand size there. And 
that turned out to be a really nice mushroom. That's just a really nice picture right there. Bowl set over here kind of close. Yeah, so that one turned out to be hand size as well. Get full of water. Those are going to be tasty on the dinner plate tonight, guys. We'll set down here. That is just, these are actually the perfect size. If you can find you 15 or 20 of them this size, boy, perfect. This guy back here. And I know that the frost would end up getting these. And that wouldn't do anybody any good. Grab this monster here. Yeah. Again, that's just perfect. Easier to clean, doesn't fall apart in your hands, and fry it up. Like I said, four or five of these makes a really nice meal. All right, we're gonna harvest these last three. Kind of an odd shaped one. Now these three were sitting over here in the shade. So they wasn't getting much uh, sunshine throughout the day. And that kind of slowed the growth of these down. The other handful of mushrooms that we have found sitting in the sun really really prospered so I'd say sunlight is one of the keys to these things growing warming that ground temperature up alright that's all of them put these in our water that's a nice mess of mushrooms right there guys Alright, it's getting dark. We better get these things cleaned up a little bit and get our water poured out. It does make for a nice picture, doesn't it? I'm right, going to stir this water around to make absolutely sure we've got these guys as clean as we can get them here. And again, all those spores in this water may make for a better crop next year. I have tried taking this water up behind the house in different locations and I have had no luck with that. But down here where they're already growing, I do believe that's going to work. Well, I think we are still probably a week out before the end of the mushroom season I would say 
but you never know maybe it'll be an extended season and we can get these things to keep growing and find another batch of them Kind of spread this out a little bit. Not losing any mushrooms. And there we go. Definitely going to be a neat experiment. I really hope this is not the end of the mushroom hunting season. Uh, if the weather will line out, I think we can get another week out of it. However, if it is, then we ended up with just under 30 of them this year. And that really did make for a nice spring mushroom hunt for Jill and I. Get that bowl up there without dropping where you guys can see them. So, and again, if this experiment works, of dumping them right back out onto the soil where they grow from, the spores that is from the mushroom, uh, that may be beneficial for years to come. And if it does work, you can bet I'll continue to do it with every mushroom I find. I'll bring the water right back down here, dump it out on the ground, and hopefully next year we can have a banner year. So I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope the season runs a little bit longer, but if not, I hope you enjoy your mushroom hunting season. And I'll see you on the next video. I'm going up to have me some dinner. Thanks for watching.